Lift the ball. Lift up the balls. Just rub the choda. Exactly like that. Mm -hmm. I, I almost feel like you got balls or something like I that. Mean... How are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Chatterbox Toronto. I'm back again. I have my friend here, Mark. <laughs> As you guys know, we have a couple questions for you guys today. We're going to get right into them. I'm going to start off. All right, guys. So the question that I have here is I've slept with her three times and each time she was smelly under there. I, I like her personality and she's really sexy, but it's becoming a huge turn off. How do I tell her respectfully? <laughs> oh my God. Bro, I, I didn't even get to the point where I told her respectfully. <laughs> I, I fucking just ghosted that chick. I, I was just like, you just never saw I her just again. never saw her again because I've been in that situation. And uh, I have a bad sense of smell, so I can't smell, but I taste it. So it was a little <laughs> funk still. Like, I was just like. I, so wait, I, you can't smell funk, but you can taste funk. I can taste funk, bro. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was not sitting right. <laughs> And I almost yacked in the girl's kunani. Like, <laughs> it was it was not it was not nice. Oh my like, god! I almost barfed like on the spot. And for somebody that can't smell, because like I have terrible, you can probably hear it, but I have yeah, very sinus. terrible sinus right. congestion all the time, and it sucks. Right. So for somebody that can't smell to to like to have to taste to have to, that to do that. Because your smell it's is like, like protects yeah, you bro, from like putting yes, that in your exact, mouth. Exactly. So if you don't have that, and then you just have to go it, straight to tasting. Bro, it sucks. It sucks for me. Like I, I trusted her. Never again. Never again. So how? <laughs> you can you just this question. How do you tell her respectfully? You really like her. She's sexy. You just have to tell her. There's no way to. Well, obviously there is a way to say it. I guess more respectfully than not. But I wouldn't say that it's actually still respectful. At the end of the day, like it's just like having a smelly friend. Are you gonna tell them that they're smelly, or are you gonna you know just? What? I'll give you the best solution to this question. Take the girl in the shower with you first. So right before you guys get That's into it, if you know that it's, it's the third time, bro. The th how did you get tricked three times? I know. The third time, come on. Take her into the shower with you. Yeah. And make sure that you guys like just rinse your shower just every time before. Make sure you got like a huge palm full of soap. I just you know just rub her down because some people they just have naturally their their yeah. body odor is not great it's not great so in that case yeah i think what he's saying is, is like the best option like every time just yeah. or make it like okay i'm about to act like you're gonna take a shower exactly. you, you both want to be clean oh, yeah exactly. let's, let's go take a shower let's just make it like that because i don't think if you tell her that you know like let me just try the nicest way like babes you know yeah. You know, like, I really like you and everything. You know, before we do this, you know, I kind of want to let you know I've been smelling a little something. But don't girls. I would be like, so insulted. Really? But don't girls know, like, if they're going to get some play, like, to make sure that Some girls fresh. are nasty. Some girls are just nasty. And, like I said, some girls just have, aside from just being nasty, yeah. some people just have that body odor issue where when they get wet, their scent is just. It's true. To be fair, I did link up with that girl like right after she finished work, so she must have been sitting on some steak like all day. It was kind of hot outside, so I should have knew better, yo. I played myself. And then there's some guys that like, well, because then there's some girls that when they sweat, their sweat is not really nasty sweat. And then yeah. there's some guys that they say, oh, they like that, like don't shower. But then for me, I don't, I can never understand that. That's just me personally, not knocking anybody out there. But yeah. Tell her, there's no way to really tell her. It's just more of like, you know, just like if you you have a girl that's fat, you're not gonna tell her she's fat, you're gonna say, babe, let's work out together. Exactly. Right, you make exactly. it a us thing. You make it a us thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so yeah, definitely. I mean, especially if you wanna be with her. If you don't wanna be with her, do what he did, go go. Ghost, Bye. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't really care to, you know, taste that again. This. But rem I remember we worked together and there was a girl and a guy yes. that we worked with and they both were smelly. And I think the best solution that people could think of was like, putting like a deodorant on their desk like Something anonymously. That you knew very well actually made me go and have a talk with that individual and I went to go have a talk with that individual I had to go up to it and initiate the conversation I'm like look buddy um, there's a little bit of a odor coming from you living at home my parents make like food that had a pungent smell right so you just gotta make sure that and some people say that. they can't use like fragrance Soaps and bro, stuff like, like that. Bro, like, we work in a scent-free environment, but that doesn't mean come to a <laughs> stank. 
Right, come on. At the end of the day, it's like smell yourself. Yes. Like smell yourself and just be aware of your own scent. Yeah. Because, you know, you don't want to be out here curling nostril hairs oh. out here. Like, no. We don't want to do that. And if I can smell it, you smell. Like, seriously, because I can't really smell it much. But I, I smell him on a one, two occasion. Like, yeah, I'm sensitive to stuff like that. It gives me a headache. Like, I can't deal with somebody just being smelly around me. I'd rather, if it, I'd, I'd rather be, if I have to deal with it, like, if I have to be around it every day, I'd rather be honest and tell you, like, yo, you know, this is bothering me. Is there anything you can do about it? Yeah. Because it's not fair. Hygiene is very, very important, yes. especially as, especially as a lady. But men out there, don't forget, under y'all balls be stank sometimes, yeah. okay? No so make sure y'all, because y'all be rinsing off y'all dick and forgetting to watch <laughs> the goddamn balls. You gotta watch the balls too. Okay. Lift them up. Lift up the balls. Just rub the shoulder. Exactly like that. Mm -hmm. I, I almost feel like you got balls or something. Like, I God, mean, how you doing that? <laughs> We're leaving that. Back. <laughs> but yeah, so that I think that's that for that yeah. question. We'll leave that at that. So yeah, you got, if that was your question, I hope we helped you. If you guys in the comments, I mean, if you're watching this and you have some better advice for that guy, definitely comment below. If you don't agree, if you have something better, I mean, we're all here for it. Comment below. Moving on to the next question. Is bad sex a deal breaker? Is bad sex a deal breaker? Kind of coincides with the last question with that steak punani, you know? <laughs> Cause yeah, like that was definitely a deal breaker. But if if a girl does not know how to ride me properly, that is something that can, that, that's a must for me. That's a deal that's, breaker. That's definitely a deal breaker. So is he, do you think that that's something that could be taught? Yes. Okay, yes. so you could teach her how to ride you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I have given a few lessons, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like sometimes it just doesn't work out. Like the girl just has no rhythm, like nothing. Like I think it's a chemistry there. thing. So if if you're not having good sex with the person, yeah, you could try to fix it. If it's just that it's every single time you're just not connecting or you're not satisfied every single time, yeah, it will be a deal breaker. It I can had, be. I a had deal breaker. a girl that just was straight missionary. That's it. Like no other positions that she was down to. So to a princess. Do. Basically, basically, making me do all the work, which okay, but like I'm not here fucking a corpse. <laughs> Now, that's not what I'm here to do. Like, shit, put in some work, too. And that's the thing. It's like, you need to know that you're compatible enough with that person. Like, because some guys, maybe they want a pillow princess. They want you to just lay there and let me do it all. But then there's other people, the majority of people, who want you to, like, put some work in. Like, bend your back, curve your back. You're becoming Dexter. Like, nah. Let's get it in. <laughs> like, you know, like, put some work in. So, yeah, I do think that it can be a deal breaker. I really do think it can be a deal breaker. That's why I will never understand people who wait to get married or wait like for this long period of time before they have oh, sex with no, no, somebody no, no. they're so into we're not in that day and age nowadays and i feel sorry for like the people that did wait for that and then it, it ended up being ended up not really, good yeah, like, not good i feel for you like i really do because there's people that say oh it doesn't matter as long as i love him or i love her the connection the chemistry sexually is gonna be the best no oh you have to make sure that what is it what did they say the what was it what did they say the donut and the banana, make sure that the banana fits nicely into the donut. Like, you gotta test it out. You gotta work it out, you know? And even the first time you have sex, sometimes it's awkward. It doesn't, you know, it isn't the best. The second time you do it, it's like, oh my God. The third time you do it, it's like, oh my God. Like, yeah. you know, or, or it's just like, okay, yeah, the first time that. it's like, Sometimes, no. you know what? You can't really base it off of the first sexual interaction. Right. You gotta see, you know, the second time, third time around, is it gonna get better? But if it's yeah. the shitty ass sex the whole damn time, yeah. and there's no getting better from there, then no, I'm, I'm definitely Because I just think bad, a deal breaker, bad right? sex is just not really, you, the person not really trying. I think there's yeah. nothing other than that. I mean, obviously, if the girl is just, or the guy is just really small, or the girl is just really loose, you know, those, aside from that, it's just like, are you guys both putting the effort and trying to like please each other? Yeah, you know, I think sure. that's what it comes down to. That's what it sure. comes down to, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I do think it can be a deal breaker. Me too. Yeah, so we agree. Double Eddie. <laughs> we agree on that, okay? So that's the end of the video, guys. We don't have any more questions for you. If you have any questions, scenarios, topics, ideas for the show, please comment below or email us in the the uh, email in the description box below. Um, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, share everything this video. Until next time, this was the Chatterbox Toronto. You want to say anything? Thanks for having me. No you. problem, man. Love You're going to come back. I will comment back. below for him to come back and leave a thumbs up. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>